Ryan Owens. Uh, work at Tapestry Tattoo here in Roseburg, Oregon. Uh, moved up here about three years ago from Southern California. If I remember correctly, probably around you know junior high, maybe early high school. And I always kind of like really liked it, but I never actually thought back then that I was going to for sure do that. Like, I mean, I went to college for a little bit stuff too and I actually dropped out to be a tattooer, but I saw inspiration from a lot of different things, or try to at least. Um, not even in photographs or other people's art or tattoos necessarily, but just pretty much anything you could look at. I mean, there's textures and, and different stuff. Um, and even just like the times of day, you know, knowing that light source of where, you know, certain things may bounce, reflect light to uh, kind of change it and just enhance the art, always trying to just get better, you know. I mean, of course, everybody loves Bob Ross, so I really like that for, for painting stuff like that. Some of my favorites definitely is like Carlos Torres, Josh Duffy is a big one. A couple of the homeboys like Rich Medina does great color portraits, stuff like that. Like I used to work down the street for me, used to watch him tattoo. Gave me a lot of cool tips when I was kind of starting out. A lot of black and gray artists, it was like, dude, Mike Rios, he helped me get my black and gray kind of to where it's at today. Shout out Cactus Tattoo down in Palm Desert. Well, tattooing has definitely impacted my life. I mean, all my social media outlets, it's all about the tattooing. I mean, of course, I do have family and stuff like that on there to keep in touch with, but mainly it's a tool for work. And that's all I really want to do, you know? I mean, every day, it's always exciting. There's not really ever a dull moment. You know, tattooing's changed definitely a lot over the last, especially 10 years, I feel like. Changing that are getting tattooed, you know, you see doctors, lawyers, and stuff like that. Um, so it's becoming a little more accepted, mostly based on media exposure, you know, social media outlet and TV, um, which has helped out tremendously for our industry because it's, it's bringing a lot more people in that wouldn't necessarily be open to it before. But yeah, the even the art, though, is, is definitely progressing. I mean, if you look at tattoos from, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s to now, it's pretty incredible what some people are doing with a needle poking it in the skin. And so it was pretty awesome to be able to tattoo my grandpa on my own father. After we were finished, of course, he goes to look in the mirror. And this, that was the first time that it ever happened to me that someone cried when they saw their tattoo, which was really special, of course. I mean, obviously, just because of my grandpa and my dad, that, that was a really cool experience, especially because I come from a background of my folks didn't really care for tattoos too much. Both totally down for it now, obviously, now that my career is kind of right direction so I can pay my bills, you know, so they're happy about that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you're getting started out um, getting tattoos, um, especially for those of you that are maybe 18 or, you know, or 17 even thinking about it, definitely my biggest tip I think that I could, could give you that nobody, I wish somebody explained to me was check your art, you know. Don't go to somebody just because you heard they're the best or this or that or whatever. Pick the artist that's going to do the best job for the style of art that you want because even though an artist may be really great at this thing, you really like this other thing, um, but they don't really do that style, then they might not be the fit for you because you want to go to that artist that wants that style and that's what they do, you know, to get the best product that you can do. I mean, I've even referred people before just because I wasn't comfortable with their design and hopefully they didn't take offense to that because it's definitely not trying to, to, to do that. but. But artists that actually care about, you know, the tattoos that they do and stuff hopefully would refer you to an artist that would do a better job on something that they might not do quite as well, at, you know. Um, so definitely be checking out portfolio. Make sure that the artist does, you know, kind of the style and their, you know, their quality of work is up to your standard at least. And definitely save. Like so many times do we have people come in and we hear, you know, they want to get a quote, of course, and, you know, we do our best to get that. Nine times out of ten, it's hard to do that because a lot of lot shops uh, charge hour until we really get into the piece we don't really know you know uh, we can give you a rough ballpark and stuff like that but that's kind of difficult so we try to do the best we can give you a quote stuff like that and a lot of times you know people aren't super happy with it it's a little too steep for them and stuff like that. but if that is the case and you really like the artist and you like her style my best suggestion is just to save wait don't buy a pack of cigarettes or you know don't buy that coffee or red bull you know for a day you know or two or whatever a week and before you know it you'll have enough money to get what you want <laughs> Oh, 
Also, you guys, check out me from a day in the life of people.com. I want to thank you for coming out here. Play, answer the questions to the best of my knowledge. It didn't sound too much of, like a dork, but go to his website, day in the life of people.com. Check it out. He's doing some cool stuff over there. So help him, uh, help him get his stuff out there, guys. All right? Day in the life of people.com.